Okay, ladies and gentlemen. So I've heard multiple times that expensive pain to date will be Mick Mill's most his best album best albums of work. Right? And with these features and these lineups that he has on there, like Young Thug, Voy, Moneybag Yo, ASAP Ferg, and that's just to name a few. We're gonna really get into this after we get a word from our sponsor. But I can tell us to these and go song by song by song and see what I really liked about the song, what I really didn't like about the song, and really how I feel about the song and the album in general. Okay, so let's have a conversation. Sharing locations by Meek Mill, Little Baby, and Little Dirt, which is on Expensive Pain, the project. I spoke about this before. Love the sample. These lyrics by Meek Mill are okay, they're average, they're not like amazing to me. Saying that he was almost an NBA player and he said something about the like a, a Rolls Royce Rafe swerving. I think the best person that had the best lyrics out of here is still Little Dirk. Um, Shooting Locations was one of the lead singles for the song. If you want to go listen to that, I would say listen to that. And then Ride For You featuring. Kesha, I'm not, I'm not sure how you say this um, woman's name, but she also did. Um, she also did an album, which I like the album. I'm going to review of that. But he says, you know I'm going to pull up no matter what, I'm going to ice you out. I'm, I'm, I listen to you about stories. McMill says, I'm going to listen to you about stories. How about your ex? And she says, <laughs> um, the intro says, um, you know I'm a ride for you. You know you were made for me, baby. Um, you know I'm a ride for you. I'm a slide for you. Um, you got me, basically, like that. Which I do like the chorus. I kind of like her verse, if it's that, but I think it's more of a chorus. I like the chorus a lot. You know, those verses aren't really extremely good to me. Expensive pain. He says, I'm going to bring the real ones home. If you my dog, I'm gonna put you on. That's like what I, all I'm gonna do. And I'm not average no more, so that's good to know. He's not average. He's got kind of behind us. We gotta turn off a few buttons. Um, she said I need therapy. <laughs> um, she was just saying that he said that the woman said that she needed therapy. Um. He says, you know, we got, we got rich people sleeping with people's girls. Classic rap kind of stuff to talk about. The first the first song on the album is Hate Me, where it's called the intro. He says he gave his mom a black card. I'm not sure if he's talking about black card. Like one of the exclusive, exclusive black cards. Yeah, that's what he believes. He's ever put a price on your head, I get a discount. He says he remembers, he remembers being poor. And then he says, now I got people hating on me. Haters with haters like 10 of y'all. He says, bone like 2K. So, that's a double entendre. He could be balling like 2K. He could play in basketball like 2K. Or he got as much money as 2K always on him. Um... He said he cleared away for 40,000, uh, I think he said 4,000 acres, and he ain't got no neighbors, which is understandable because a lot of a lot of celebrities do buy a lot of land with a lot of acres. That's understandable. Outside or 100 miles per hour, whichever one you, but I recommend these are literally the same songs, but they're listed as two different things. Um, he said he bought a new push. Um, he said when he went outside, it was a lot of it was a, a lot of bad women outside, so or hot women um, outside, which that's fine. And he just has to be outside. I just say if you're outside, please be safe. Um, he was just saying that she looks good. He says everyone he sleeps with gets a Rolex, which that's fine too. Um, please invest. Like if you got money, invest. Don't don't blow it like these rappers say they blow it. Cause some of them don't blow, they really do invest. So, and then on my soul, he just says he's leaving a hundred, a hundred, 
he's even 10 million for his son. He says, but everyone be aiming for him. He said, he, when you're rich, everyone believes in you, but when you're poor, no one really believes in you. And then it's like this small segment of the video where Swiss is just kind of talking about wealth. And talking about money. And talking about fame. In these little small segments. And I think that's good. But just the song I was refer, refer, uh, referring, referring to is On My Soul, featuring Rick Mill, by himself. But he has like little mentions in there. He says he has to get the uh, Rave Bulletproof. He, he has to get the Range Bulletproof. Which I believe he's on a Range Rover, but Range Rovers were popular with rappers. He probably still got his. Which is good. Okay. So Cold Hearted 3. I liked it. He says he had to be a gangster since he was five. He's had a bunch of guys with snakes. Which if you got a lot of people that you don't trust around you, I refer you not to not just don't be around them. That's just my personal take on that. Um, he said he's he's making it like he's Russian, so. Um, he said Hove to him a lot of stuff on Volume 2. Um, now he's just hanging out with billionaires. And he said he lost a bunch of guys over jealousy, like he was making money and they wanted the money and they treated him foul for it, or bad for it, so. That in Halo featuring Brent, I can never say his last name. He's an R&B artist. Definitely go listen to him. Brent says, "I'm should I wear a Halo because I I know a lot of angels, which is the, the best chorus or pre-chorus I've ever heard because it's just it's honestly it's it's touching. Like he could have been on Brent could have been on Donda and gave it, really gave it like some feeling to it. But I mean I had to talk about Donda. Talking about the Quincy Bang." Um, what else has been riding my, <laughs> been riding, been riding my whole life. Um, and really, just, he says, like, I want to go ride blocks around the old neighborhood that we used to hold blocks. If I do, I'm going to get shot. He's like, hey, girl, I'm going to take your makeup off and you just you throw back a few shots or whatever. And then he says, they just been soul searching, which I think is a nice, a nice way to end that song. Now, with me, F M E, with ASAP Ferg, which I do like ASAP Ferg because he puts this, he puts this Harlem ad lib that's in the middle of a Meek Mill verse, and then he just he he comes back up with it like it's crazy. Um, he just does like he he. He becomes he just rhymes with every last word, and it's funny. It's great to me because that's what I expect from that Ferg. Um, he says a lot of people like me. A lot of people may, ain't really mess with me. Um, flew her, flew her into the city one night and, and, sl and slept with her that night. Um, now she confused. Um, Meek Mill also said. When we both, when we call her, she call, she pick up for me, which I guess that's a flex. It might be, it might not be, depending on who you are as a person. ASAP Ferg. <laughs> like, okay, so he goes. <laughs> yeah, she confused, like, kill a cam, right? Or like, kill a cam. And she's like, I hit Will with the deposit. Having dinner like them, like I'm with mobsters. Why are you always acting like a like a hose? I guess the only way they can say it, like a a girl around with everybody else. Money bag, yo, on his song Hot. Now Hot to me isn't really like a good song, but this is like the one, maybe the second song of her from Maybach. Um. Money bag, yeah. So, and I think these couple lines call me when he says hotter than in nine than nine uh ninety nine, which is nineteen ninety nine. Um, 
Uh, he says, she just said, he just mentioned she needed a big boat, and McNeil just goes in there. Says, I've been on something. I know she, uh, my girl that sleeps with everybody else a hoe. Um, he says, it's crazy that I just realized I'm looking in the mirror, I'm really this rich. Don't go back and forth with no woman. And I got what it takes to be on top. Which I, I think that's a subtle disc, but. Love Train is kind of the, a different approach to this album where he just talks about how he loves women. Where he says, so many women um, were sketchy, so he went raw, which I would not recommend if you know something's wrong. If you know a woman is acting a certain way and you don't want the, um, the outcome to be yours or already pregnant, please don't go raw. Just please, just, just take my advice from my Xavier. Um, he heard a lot of he you know a lot of guys that switched up on him, so he had to cut him. Like, this is a different kind of, of feel to this song than the rest of this the album. The, the rest of the songs in this album it feels different. Um, he says no woman was supposed to come between us, but we let it happen. He says I heard that people said I wasn't feeding the team, but I'm in the studio every night, so. I don't know what that means. Personally, I think he's just saying, I've been in the studio every night, so every time we go out, he says, every time we, <laughs> I heard I wasn't feeding my team, but every night we go out and eat, or something like that. He said a lot of people change for the money, so he had to cut them off. He says a lot of people try to cut, try, hmm, cut me off like I ain't help him. Which is, I, an un un understandable way to feel. I'm probably gonna say his name wrong. For North Side, South Side, featuring Gigs, G, G I G S. I don't know if I said that if wrong. If I said it wrong, I'm sorry if I offended anybody or the artist. I am extremely sorry. Um, I pushed, <laughs> I pushed it back in, which is weird. Um. And then something smells like fish. I leave that up to the imagination or go listen to the song. Um, McMill says, keep talking about, he said, they keep talking about paying me. But I guess they never paid him. He said, one was a fraud, one was a rat, and one, and they all capping. Can't be friends with no fans, which is true. I think a lot of artists can't be friends with fans because they think they're going to approve everything that goes through. So he's thinking, if you're a fan, you're just gonna like anything I put out or anything I put with it, or I'll let you listen to. So you can't really judge me on my music, or you don't think I live the music life, or and that's just not how it is behind closed doors. I don't know. And he says we slide featuring Young Thug. Now this might be the best Young Thug feature I've ever heard in my life. Um, he said we slide, then like the realest on earth. My co-defendant said he can't do time. Let people to the side. That's a dope. And it's a dope the way little young thug does it. Um, he says he's trying to slide. Meek Mill says I'm trying to slide to watch my sins. I'm trying to chase a hundred mil. And how come you judge? How, how can you judge me? And it turned me into a savage. This is really dope. I think this is. Of an album and then tweaking with uh Voy V O Y V O R Y. Um, it just, it just, I just I think he he does any intro, he does it great, any song he does it great, which in this song he didn't fail either. However, in um, Pregan, McMill doesn't really do a very passionate job about it, so oh my. Hope money doesn't make me lose friends, but a lot of people switched up for me. A lot of people switched up for the money. So I, I don't know. So I, I I have mixed opinions about this album. Clearly, um, the beat I liked for a little bit. I think 18 songs might have been a little much, maybe 14, because some of this felt like filler. But on the other hand. It's not really bad. I want to say this album is probably a 6.7. I 
However, I think the better song by McMill is still Dream um Dreams and Nightmares. It was it was okay, but I think this I think Dream and Nightmares was a little bit better to me. Maybe it was the time. So